The old, a dilapidated house on the outskirts of town had always been a source of fascination for the local children. They whispered stories of ghostly apparitions and cursed the homeowners for daring to disturb the dead. But for Emma, the house represented a challenge. She and her friends had always been daredevils and this was their latest conquest. As they approached the house, the front door creaked open and the group stepped inside. The musty smell of decay and neglect hit their noses, but Emma pressed on. She led the group through the dusty halls, admiring the peeling wallpaper and cobweb-covered chandeliers. But as they reached the staircase, Emma heard a noise coming from upstairs. She brushed it off as the wind, but her friends were spooked and begged to leave. Emma, determined to prove her bravery, insisted they continue. As they reached the top of the stairs, Emma saw a figure at the end of the hall. She froze, her heart pounding in her chest. But as the figure stepped closer, she saw that it was not a ghost, but a man. He was covered in filth and had a wild look in his eye. He lunged at Emma and her friends, chasing them out of the house. They never spoke of that night again, but Emma couldn't shake the feeling that the man they saw was not just a squatter, but something far more sinister. She knew that the house on the outskirts of town was not just abandoned, but possessed by a malevolent force.